Yusuf Abdullah al-Qaradawi was one of Islam's most famous and influential scholars during the 20th and early 21st century. Born in Egypt in 1926, al-Qaradawi memorized the Quran by the age of 10 and was giving sermons when he was 16 years old. He studied at the centuries-old Al-Azhar University, of which many of Sunni Islam's clerics and scholars graduate from. In his late teens, Al-Qaradawi joined the Muslim Brotherhood, eventually becoming one of its main theological and religious thinkers, and remained so even after he left the group. His membership of the Brotherhood led him to being arrested several times, both during the reign of King Farooq and by the regime of Gamal Abdel Nasser. By 1961, Al-Qaradawi decided to leave Egypt due to the lack of freedom there. He arrived in Qatar, which eventually became his home. His speeches were now being eagerly listened to by Muslims across the region and even further. The late boxing world champion Muhammad Ali included. Al-Qaradawi authored more than 120 books, which have been translated into dozens of languages. And his show, Religion and Life, that used to be broadcast on Al Jazeera, was one of the most popular TV programs in the Arabic-speaking world. The Muslim scholar was regarded by his followers as a moderate. His religious edicts or fatwas included banning female genital mutilation, honor killings, condemning the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks and leading a delegation to Afghanistan in a bid to convince the Taliban not to destroy the centuries-old Buddhist statues in Bamiyan. But Al-Qaradawi's unwavering support for the Palestinians and their right to self-determination earned him criticism by Western governments. He was denied a visa to the UK in 2008, and France also later denied him entry following campaigns by the pro-Israeli lobbies there. He was also a fierce opponent of Islamophobia, heavily criticizing the French ban on hijab in 2004 and calling for a boycott of Danish goods following the publication of offensive cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. In 2011, Al-Qaradawi was among the first to lend his support to the Arab Spring uprisings, saying that it was forbidden in Islam for regimes to oppress the people and that everyone had a right to live in freedom. It was Al-Qaradawi who gave the first Friday sermon in Tahrir Square after Hosni Mubarak was toppled. It was no surprise then that following the 2013 coup in Egypt, the al-Sisi regime confiscated the scholar's assets tried him in absentia and accused him of inciting terrorism. Unable to arrest him because he was out of the country, Egyptian authorities instead detained his daughter Ula, who remains behind bars in solitary confinement. Al-Qaradawi founded several institutions in his lifetime, including the International Union of Muslim Scholars and the European Fatwa Council. Through these and his books and sermons, his impact is likely to outlive him. With his passing, the Muslim world has lost arguably its most influential and learned religious scholar of modern times.